Now, scientists researching African elephants have revealed that they appear to have names for each other. Researchers say they communicate using unique calls, low rumbles that can be heard across great distances that can be used to grab the attention of a specific elephant. Scientists say it's an ability that only a few wild animals have. This low rumble is barely distinguishable to human ears. But Donatella the elephant seems to know exactly what it means. Scientists say that's because elephants have unique calls used to communicate across large distances. They've been eavesdropping on two herds in Kenya to create a sound library for their research. About half of the, the um, sound in their call is below our level of hearing, so we actually cannot hear it. Um, and so we had to use a special microphone to record these calls, and we also had to be quite close to them because um, sound attenuates with distance. And Researchers tested their results by playing recordings to elephants like Margaret. Here, she responds to a call specific to her. But this call isn't for her. And she doesn't call back. Sometimes when they're in a big group, a female or a, a matriarch of a group will give a call and the entire group will respond. They'll group up around her, they'll follow her or whatever. And then other times she gives seemingly the, a very similar call um, and, and nobody will respond, nobody will react to that call except for a single elephant in the group. And that elephant will respond or come up, you know, come up to her or whatever. And so that sort of indicates that they have a means by which to communicate who they want to talk to. Adult elephants were more likely to use names than calves, suggesting it could take years to learn the skill. Now scientists are working to crack the complicated code around the calls. They hope understanding what elephants are saying could lead to greater insights into how they think.